when I was doing my lessons in um, my classical lessons in high school, I would come in and I'd go, <laughs> oh, no, can we just sing the songs? I've been singing all day. I've, I've, I'm warm because, you know, I was singing to the radio or whatever. <laughs> And she let me, for the most part. Oh, okay. I know. Well, I, <laughs> I think, to be honest, I was probably one of her most enthusiastic students. So she probably just was like, yeah, do what you want. Um, <laughs> but then that, that meant that I had a, a kind of, well, I'd look at it now and think slightly problematic um, relationship with warming up. And um, when I got to university... We would do warm-ups, but again, I found them really boring. They were long, they were, they were repetitive. And so then when I was, this is only a few years ago now, I went to a teacher training course um, with Dane Chalfin and Kim Chandler. And she told us, the group, about her, her idea of warming up versus working out and how the warm-up is completely... Um, just preparation based and it's not musical and it's only five minutes, 10 minutes tops. And, you know, she just talks about sirens and stretches. And I was like, what? I've never heard this. Like, why is it so short? Why is it not 20 minutes of boring, boring stuff that I don't want to do? And that really, I was like, I'm sure other people know this, but I did not know that. And so fast forward, when I started doing um, my master's in vocal pedagogy, I was looking at things that I could do that were applicable to all of my students. 